Hey there viewers, welcome back to another episode. Uh, I want to replace rear speakers on this. Uh, I did the front, they were super simple. Pop the uh, grates off, four screws, connect the wires, put it back. I, I, it was so quick I didn't do a video, but these are, it's more involved. Got to take trim pieces off and whatnot, so I figure, what the heck, let's uh, do a video. So, from what I understand, we have to pop off, oops, uh, side trim, couple screws, seatbelt, Torx, and then there's screws from behind that are holding the grate, and. Uh, I guess you don't even have to take the grate off. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We're going to just start taking the trim off and see what happens. All right, so let me reposition you. Goal is to get behind there. So we'll start with uh, Phillips. Phillips, and let's see behind here. Let me get a pry driver for that. Breaking it, perhaps. Okay. Big Torx. Oof. It's got to be a 50. All right. Let me get the right one. Hmm. Not quite a 50. What's this? 45. Yep, it's a 45. All right. Phillips here. All right, now okay, pulls forward. What do you know? There's the speaker. Alright, so like the front, these are probably 7 millimeter. Alright, so I'll take 7 mil. Yeah, 7 mil. Now these speakers actually don't look so bad. The front ones, all the way around, UV. Just, it was missing, it was totally gone. So all you have with the center paper not connected to the outer edge at all. Needless to say, it didn't really sound that great. But might as well do these also. Looks like there's just one on the bottom. And three. Blue there and uh, soldered. Interesting. Well, there is a connector down here with this rest. I'm going to pull out. Good. 
another GM Christmas tree connector or something similar all right and it's soldered here so I'm just gonna cut this connector off so I can reuse the clip and yeah we'll cut it off and then um, attach it to the new speaker let me show you let me show you how we're gonna do that all right got to get this plastic bezel off of the speaker so it just clips on here all this stuff is just so brittle I think without stabbing myself it's one side all right so that's out now this speaker here let's see if it even fits it kind of fits. Well, probably going to need to hot glue it in there because this is one mounting screw, two, three. And uh, it's clearly in the way. It's not going to fit on here, so I'm just going to hot glue it. Let me go get the hot glue gun. Let that warm up. Now what we're also going to do is, these speakers come with a wire here, okay, and they have the connectors on the one side that attach to the speaker, okay? So, I'm just going to cut off uh, Cut off about 12 inches here of that. All right. All right. So, put a couple dabs. One here. You guys can see this. Let that dry real quick. Pretty quick. Now I'm going to cut this off. This is the OEM connector. Cut this guy off. And we are going to crimp these together. Yes, I'm not soldering, I'm crimping. It's just speaker wire. It's not gonna get wet. And it's hot. And I don't care. Let's cut this a little bit. Open that up. Strip this, probably what, 16 gauge.
Just use some butt connectors. gonna do in this configuration the black is the negative so we are gonna go black to black let's hook her up I just have nowhere to put it it's a huge driveway the top you don't want the top just hanging around like that you know The top? Yeah. It's just an eyesore. I'd rather, I can mean, I'll put it in the backyard. Oh, yes. And this is like looking at a Van Gogh. Are <laughs> you out of your mind? Folks, you see the hostility I deal with? You see, you, you hear? This, this coming from a person whose father owned a 1982 Chevrolet, what was it? The van? Uh, the Beauville. The, the, the Beauville. All right, folks, a Beauville. He ran it into the ground, which means he drove that thing long after he should have been. And she gets on me over an... She gets on me for a mint condition 86 Pontiac Fiero GT with a moonroof or sunroof. And now... And now a killer sound system. I mean, clearly he didn't buy it for the aesthetics. Her mother drove around a Nissan Altima with water sloshing around in the doors. And she thought they were water bottles in the back seat. Okay? Just, just it, just to give everybody context. <laughs> I might ask you, how do you forget? I'm not sure we want to get political on this uh, podcast. Someone please explain to Nancy Pelosi who recently called racist by those in her own party that there is nothing wrong with bringing out the very obvious fact that Congress and Washington has done a very poor job for his business and the city of Baltimore. Just to take a look, the facts speak far louder than words. The Democrats always play the race card when, in fact, they have done so good for our nation's great African American people. And now, lowest earning women in U.S. history and only getting better. Elijah Cummings has failed badly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't criticize, you know. Listen, let's keep this uh, YouTube video out of the political realm and into the, keep it in the uh, automotive realm.
this everything plastic is so freaking brittle. All right, that's back in. Put the seatbelt back on. Well, somebody had to put it on at some point. What do you think? You just gotta hope I put it on correctly. Get the seatbelt back on. Where's my torque? Torque the factory spec. And we got a Phillips. Long Phillips. Goes back in. Alright. Now we've got the driver's side. Which I would imagine is exactly the same. So I'll turn the camera around. And if I get good video, I'll post it. Otherwise, you know, it's exactly the same, I'm sure. And uh, thank you all for watching. So far, it's exactly the same. We're just gonna cut these speaker wires at a time here. Man, that's a strong magnet. Jesus. Pretty well shot. Alright. Did the same thing on this one. Crimped it. Glued it into the bezel. And we're going to assemble it. Yes, it is a shame we can't take the Fiero. Another project successfully completed. I don't want to be on your video. See y'all next time.